Julia, and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Who doesn't love a, a, a good love story and get goosebumps about it? Um, so there were these two best friends, girls, uh, in school, um, met and became really good best friends. Uh, and now they're married, but I'm missing out a huge chunk of uh what was then and what is now and i you know i'm going i'm choosing my language very carefully for a reason because i don't want to yeah i want to keep things in their language so uh let's meet someone who was one of those young uh women back then in their teen times uh i'd like to introduce and i'm really pleased to have on the show uh aaron Capener, and I hope I pronounced your your name correctly. Aaron, thank you so much for joining me today. Aaron, um, so people are going to be like, oh, I don't understand that story. So I started right back to school, you know, school days. Uh, if you were telling, if you're telling that story in the third person, what was the story back then? The third person, yeah. Um, yeah. First of all, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Um, yeah, I, when we were younger, we obviously, I'm not, I don't present as female. I was, I'm trans transgender. So that means that I was born as female and I've transitioned into a male with the help of, um, hormones and, um, and yeah. And so now you're, you're married to who was your former best girlfriend, um, but but you must have gone through. Let, let's take take back when you were born uh, a female or born into. Uh, and if I use the incorrect language, please no. just jump in there and correct me. Uh, yeah, please do, please do, please do, because this is about learning and acceptance. And I I don't get everything right. Um, I have right. a trans, not a transgender, but non-binary. Binary. I have a trans offspring and i'm still learning so back in those days yeah. i mean you know you when you were girlfriends you know just good really good classmates what was it that attracted you to each other um i would say uh, we were um uh, we had we had met in school i came out to tennessee to stay with my nana for a bit of time and um, we met in school so we were in the same middle school in eighth grade and we had a lot of the same classes um, she lived down the road from me and she was just so, um, just kind. And, uh, I just, I don't know. I felt attracted to her in a different way than I had with anyone else. She was just, she was really amazing. Yeah. And so when you, I'm not sure how old you were, but when you kind of knew, I mean, what, how did it go with your sexuality? Did you start questioning that first? Right. Yeah. So I came out as uh, a, a lesbian, I guess you would say, um, in, in about seventh or eighth grade. I was raised really conservative, so I wasn't um, really taught a lot of what being LGBT really meant. Like I didn't um, I, we went to church three to four times a week. So the only thing that we I really knew growing up about the LGBT community was that, um, you know, that there are people that are gay and we are taught to pray for those people to come back you know, um, and, uh, and, and, and then there was one person in the family or in the church that was a former member that uh, was trans and they were, they said that they had had a sex change and that was like forbidden. Like we couldn't even ask questions about it. Just, just leave it alone. You know, that's, that's not something that we talk about. Um, and then as I got older, I started to learn more and educate myself. Um, and it made a lot of sense on why I was attracted to these women. Um, as, uh, uh, you know, as I'm growing up and, and maturing and coming into puberty, um, yeah. And it just explained a lot of my yeah. feelings that I was having at the time. So do, I'm guessing as a really good friend, you, you discussed this, uh, with Kayla, uh, the two of you talked about this. How, how did she react? Yeah, so she was, um, she lived down the street from my Nana. So we actually, when I would go, I would go back home for the school years and um, like I'd visit in the summertime. So I actually came out as trans when I was um, in Oregon in school and she was, she lived here in Tennessee. So she actually found out, um, you know, with uh, the post that I had posted 
on Facebook and explained everything and um, and she had messaged me and, you know, let me know that she, um, hundred percent supported me and anything that I needed. And she was, uh, she was really, I, I don't think she was surprised by it at all. I think she knew, obviously she knew me best and the people that were closest to me was, were pretty much when I came out as trans that they were all very, just, of course, that makes so much sense. Like, I can't believe it took you so long to figure it out. And I'm like, <laughs> that's a big thing to, to swallow, but everyone, everyone, you know, everyone, a lot of my friends. No, 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 no. I get it. I, I get it. I get it. It's the same with my, uh, with my kid. It was the same. I'm like, yeah. And, you know, uh, although I'm still learning, I'm yeah. you, not shocked, but not surprised, surprised, but not shocked. So you, when you came back to Tennessee and you and Kayla got together again, I mean, it, number one, it must have been difficult for the background that you came from and all the praying and what have you. Uh, it must have been really difficult. So to have someone like Kayla understand and say and be there for you would have meant, oh, wow, a huge amount. Right. Yeah. And a lot of people that are um, like young LGBT people, any any person that they have that is close to them, that is like accepting is like a, is, is, is treasure. You know, it's it's whether they're family or friends, when you come out as LGBT in any way, um, it, it comes with a lot of it can be really tough. So the people that do stick by your side uh, mean the world, mean the world to me and mean the world, you know, to people like me yeah. uh, to give them hope that those other people may come around someday, or if they don't, you're still not alone because there's millions of people just like us. And that's not something yeah, that we really knew yeah, back no. then. No, because it's all get quiet. Now, how were your church and your family about it, though? Um, at first, uh, well, my church, I, I uh, they asked me to leave the church um, when I came out as gay because they were kind of concerned that I was, you know, kind of straying other members of the young, you know, the youth church, uh, astray and things like that. So, uh, the church after going there for about seven or eight years, I, I just kind of, um, stepped back from that. I, I obviously have a really, what I have, but if you've seen my socials, I do believe in God and I do believe that you can be LGBT and be trans. So my relationship with the church is still um, strained a thousand percent, but my relationship with God hasn't really changed um, much throughout the whole process. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now you and Kayla are married, um, which is just yeah. the most gorgeous news. And I've seen the pictures of you on Thank social you. media. You look so happy. Thank you. Thank you. It was the perfect, it was perfect. Everyone that came was amazing. You know, my Nana was there. My dad came out from Oregon and was so supportive. Um, yeah, we just had a, it was, it was the perfect night. We could have asked for anything more. It was this last December actually. So even though we've known each other this long and I moved out here for good in 2016, so we were dating five years before we got married. Um, so we had a solid, solid foundation of friendship and then a foundation of yeah. dating and learning how to communicate with someone in that way. Um, and, and it was just, it was so natural. Just it, it wasn't any work at all. It was just, it was perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your story because I, I get all ooh, gooey. Uh, it's a true love story. Uh, being, <laughs> it really being, is. Being, yeah. somewhere, being, being there for someone through absolutely everything. And I really do wish you and Kayla the very, very best. And, and thank you so much for, for talking to us and, and sharing your, your gorgeous love story. Thanks again. Oh, I, I, love is love is love is love is love. That's all I can say. Uh, so that was uh, uh, Aaron, who's married to Kayla, his former girl best friend. Like, who cares? Who cares? It's about love. Um, and if you've got a problem with it, unless it affects your life on a day-to-day -day basis, keep it to yourself. Um, I'm Trisha Goddard, and this is Talk TV.